Hey, it's Holly, and welcome to the Proper Pineapple Podcast. Um, this is a podcast all about crochet and knitting and someday sewing if I can finally decide to sit down and get my sewing machine out. But anyways, <laughs> that's a little tangent. Um, if you are looking for me anywhere else on the interweb, then you can find me on Facebook at The Proper Pineapple. You can find me on Instagram at The Proper Pineapple. You can find me on Ravelry as Miss Proper Pineapple, MS Proper Pineapple. Uh, there's also a group over on Ravelry for The Proper Pineapple. We do a lot of crochet alongs and knit alongs, make alongs over there. Um, you can also go to my website, thepropernineapple.com. It's where I sell my patterns. I also sell my patterns on Ravelry, but I sell my patterns, my buttons, my dowel spines, all of that over there on thepropernineapple.com. And you can also email me at thepropernineapple at gmail.com. All that information should be down below in the description box. Whew. Okay, guys. I don't have... I don't, I don't have a lot to show you. I do have some stuff to show you, but not a lot. I just... I kind of lost my mojo for the week. I was like... Well, it's been... For the, you who don't know, I live in Michigan, and it's cold in Michigan. There was something called the polar vortex that came through, and it was absolutely freezing, and all I wanted to do was cuddle up in my blanket. And I kept wanting to crochet and knit, but I just couldn't get going. But let's see. What should I show you first? Okay, so first I should show you my knitting, because this is the one I've done the most on. So this is a bag by Kim from Chasing Acorns. I absolutely love her. You can find her on Etsy by just putting in Chasing Acorns and you will find her. She, It's adorable. I would give you an up close of it, but my cat has been sleeping on it like normal because Hazel's the devil. <laughs> I'm kidding. And it's covered in cat fur. But, so I love this bag. Her bags are great. Actually, all of my projects are in bags by Kim. So love you, Kim. Thanks for the bags. I did buy them. She did not donate. Well, she did give me one. So I am making the Free Your Fade by Andrea Mowry. It is a wonderful shawl pattern. I love it. Like, I am so in love with it. I cannot wait. I gotta try to try to get my paper back to where it belongs. Sorry, guys. I love it. And I cannot wait till it's done. I have made it through the first two colors to talk a little bit about. I'm only gonna talk a little because obviously I'll talk a whole bunch about this when it's a finished object. But so I started with this stunning purple here. It is like a purpley pink. It is by um, Cat Sock Fibers on Ravel, or not Ravelry. Oh, that's a tail. <laughs> on Etsy, she's a Michigan dyer. I love her, she's so sweet. And then over here is this gorgeous, I faded into this stunning speckle here. And the name of this color is the Proper Pineapple. It was made by my wonderful friends over at Iron Wheel Farms. They are amazing. I love them. They made this beautiful color. And now, and they are in Michigan too. And now I am getting into the grayish color. If you could see, I've just started striping it in. Just got to the where I could cut my pink off. Just whoosh, did that. I will get you out the ball because it's easier to see that then. Roll it up. It got a little discombobulated. So let's see. We'll get it to focus on it. There it is. It's this gray and it has beautiful purples, pinks, and a bunch of other colors striped through it. It is called Quiet Riot and it is by uh, Roberta Ray Fibers here in Michigan too. So I am calling this my Michigan shawl even though it's not blue and gold. Even though go blue and go blue and maize, whatever. I'm saying. And I love this. I, I'm actually... I got a little tangle here. Hold on. And one of my kids is yelling, but my oldest is going to go see what that's about. So if you heard any little commotion, that's what's happening. But I'm loving this. I cannot wait to be done with this. I only have that last section left to do. And I just, oh, uh, I'm doing this. It's all, it's a sock weight. This pattern is not a free pattern, but it is, I think this would be a great like beginner shawl. I really, really would. It's just garter stitch. So basically you're just knitting and knitting. You're, there's no purling. There is a yarn over section. It's not that bad. It's a little scary at first, but once you get used to it, it's totally okay. And you'll learn all kinds of techniques and look at the beautiful, beautiful shawl. Okay. Can't wait to get this one finished, you guys. I'm so, 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 so excited. So we're going to put that all back in the bag because don't want to lose it, right? It's cold here again today, in case you can't tell. I'm wearing this gigantic fluffy 
scarf. It's like a long scarf, but I've rolled it up into like a cowl. And it's hot pink because this is the year of the pink, okay? All shades of pink are welcome this year. So I'm gonna put this guy back here in my whip spell. This is like all my projects, it's overflowing. Especially once I start showing you all the other ones. Okay, and then to, so now I think that's all the knitting I have been doing. I haven't worked out any other knitting. So now on to crocheting. So first I wanna show you, um, you guys know, that was my Christmas Eve cast on. And then on Christmas Day, I did a cast on too, but this time I went with a crochet shawl. And it is this wonderful little shawl here. Put that up there so you can see it. It is the flat iron shawl. It is basically the crocheted version of the Free Your Face. And so I have not been working on this one much, but I'm going to start now that I'm almost done with that one. That one just for some reason caught my attention, but I started with this beautiful yellow. You start here down at this little pointy point. And you see, you just keep getting bigger. Um, where that stitch marker is, this little pineapple guy, is where I was the last time I showed you. So I did put a little bit on there. I have been working on it, just not as much. This yellow, though, is a dream to work with because it is by, um, well, I can't find the tag for that one, but it's by Vitalana, and that is a knit crepe brand, and it's got um, cashmere in it. So mm, it's stunning. So I'm working on that. But my next color... It's gonna be this one with these like oranges and yellows and pinks and purples. And then we're gonna go to this one with oranges, yellow, pinks and purples, but more. Isn't that gonna be stunning, you guys? And if you want all the information about what I'm using and what I'm doing, it's all over on my Ravelry page, which you can find in the down bar. So anyways, so that's that one. Again, I didn't put much work in it, so there's not really much to talk about because Oh, but I am making that one with this stunning hook. I've showed you guys before, but I have to. This is my stunning hand-carved wo wooden hook by Nelson's Woods. Again, go over to Etsy, put in Nelson's Woods. It will come up. It is stunning. I love this hook so much. And it feels, oh, it just feels amazing to work with. Apparently, the mailman's here. So, Bella. Bella. Be Bella. Bella, we can't park. I'm gonna have to pause for a minute. Okay, we think we're going to keep Bella from barking now. Maybe. <laughs> She's still being a little. She really likes to bark at stuff, guys. Don't set that guy over there. Oh, oh. Ooh. All right, Bella. All right, one other thing I've been working on uh, is my Crimson Hooded Cardi. Again, a bag by, this was a bag by Chasing acorns too, love it. This one's got food trucks on it. How funny is that? I absolutely love the food trucks. Again, it's covered in cat hair because cats, right guys? <sighs> anyway, so I am using Premier Everyday Yarns in this gorgeous color, um, I think it's called Bright Violet. Bright Violet it is, I love it. If you remember, I had started the Selena sweater with this. Uh, it was this gorgeous crocheted sweater with lots of holes and stuff, but I just wasn't feeling it. it just didn't seem right so I'm actually pulling that out I haven't actually pulled out the section I had made yet but I will soon I'm and I started the crimson hooded cardi oh you guys this cardigan so um I will insert a picture here of the crimson hooded cardi it has got all kinds of cabling it is a stunning cardigan cannot wait sorry if you hear growling it's my dog she's being very disgruntled oh and now the little one's being angry <laughs> sorry about that you guys because Ooh, the dogs are just getting feisty. But anyways, so this cardigan is stunning. I love it. It's a lot of work though. If you remember, I started it in the size that I thought was my size, but it wasn't quite getting gauge. Well, I went ahead and swatched and I used a bunch of different hooks and I swatched a couple of times. I still couldn't get gauge. So I went back to the original hook. I just went down a size in the pattern because the problem was is my gauge was too big and I was getting too big of a piece of fabric. I mean, my back panel was like huge. So I have taken it out. And I have redone the back panel up until where, if you look here in this photo, they start having a cabling. I have done the entire bottom section up to where the cable is. It's absolutely pretty. It's got a little crease in it because I had it folded. But I think it's working out so much better. This is a much more appropriate size for me. I'm going to hold it up so you can see it. It's this beautiful purple with, oh, and it's all done in single crochet, which is a lot of work, you guys. This is not a beginner pattern. Not at all a beginner pattern. 
definitely a expert pattern, <laughs> I would say. Because the cable pattern, when I first read that, I was like, what? It took me forever. Okay, so this is one ball of yarn plus a little. If you see right here, up at the top, I got these two strands here. This is where I tied on my second ball. And I did tie it on at the end, and I had a little bit left over because I just didn't want anything in the center of it. I just wanted it. If you see down here, I actually have another tie on. That is a funny story. Something happened to me that has rarely ever happened to me in with uh, commercial yarn. I was crocheting along and I got to a really thick part. Like it was really, really thick. And I was like, what in the world? And it was all messy. And of course it was right like in the center. So of course you, you would have seen it in the sweater. Wouldn't have been in the edge where it might have hidden. Nope, dead center. So I had to cut out like this much of the yarn. It was ridiculous, but it's okay because it's looking beautiful. Isn't this going to be stunning when it's finished, you guys? So now, like I said, I did the first, um, I'm not gonna say how many rows because it is a paid for pattern, um, but I did all the way up to where the very next row, I have to start my cabling. So I'm excited. So it's gonna go slower from here because I got these done super fast, but I mean, it was just single crochet. Boop, 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 boop. Now I've got to actually like stop read charts, all that good stuff. So, but I'm super, super excited. I cannot wait to wear this. You guys know pinks and this bright purples are so my colors. And now my cat's bugging me. Hazel, my word. The animals don't want you guys to have a podcast today. Hazel, you want to be on camera? She don't want to be on camera, you guys. Hazel, come here. Hazel, come here. YouTube likes you. Not gonna do it? Come here, Hazel. Come here. Come here, Hazel. Come here. Oh, I'm petting my cat. I'm sorry, you guys. Come here, Hazel. Well, come up. Hazel, come up. <laughs> Hazel, come up here. She's not gonna do it, you guys. I'm trying to get the, the infamous Hazel on camera, and she's not gonna do it. All right, you guys. All right, my last... Oh, let her go, kids. It's fine. My last project is again in this wonderful, uh, over there, under that, under my computer there, Bruce. Sorry, my kids were looking for something, um, which I'll talk about in a minute. Yep, lift it up, lift it up, gently. Kids, okay, so my last one is in this wonderful bag by Kim from Chasing Acorns, but this was a gift, a Christmas gift from Al. She had Kim make it for me. It's got Cheshire, which you guys know I love. And this is a design that I've been designing since the summer. And it has just got put on hold because I was just so busy last year. It was insane. But it is a Tunisian design. And yes, I am using just the old straight Tunisian hooks. I would like to get a set of the interchangeables. But right now it's just, I've only got the one project going. And it's working just fine on this. So, and this is a Tunisian shawl. And it is using two yarns from the Lemonade Shop. It is using this stunning one here. Let's get it to focus. Sometimes it just takes a second, guys. There we go. And it's got all these, like, browns and teals and hot pinks and darker turquoises. Really, really pretty. This one is called Harvest Moon by the Lemonade Shop. And then this one's actually attached to the project at the moment. So, And then this one is also by the Lemonade Shop. And this one has, like, the best name ever. Let's get it to focus. Hold on. There we go. It's kind of just this light turquoise teal color with the pinks and purples and blues. And even little specks of the brown. If you could see, let's see right there. There's a couple little of that. So they go really well together because they've got the same colors in each other. Oh, and I didn't tell you the camera. Focus on my face now. There we go. <laughs> the name of this one is called Shark Bait, which I just love. So it's these two, and it is a Tunisian shawl. And this is all I have done. I did do some since the last time you saw it. I've got a lot of tail. What is going on here? Why? Oh, because my hoop is pulled like really, really big. And then I've got my two ends from where I just tied on because I just switched colors. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's a little messy. So it is this, I'm striping it. And it starts at the one point, and it's going to go down to the center and come back up the other center. Isn't it pretty? I cannot. And it's where I'm using a special Tunisian stitch. Let me get it up there. That's called the knit stitch. 
it actually looks like knitting. It's really, really cool. But it's not. It's Tunisian crochet. I cannot wait to get this pattern done for you guys. Oh, I can't wait to wear it. Oh, it's so stunning. So, so pretty. So this is a fingering weight pattern. So just to let you guys know, um, if you uh, want to get ready for when it is available, which I mean, it's going to be a little while still, but I just want to let you know it is fingering weight and you will need two balls of fingering weight yarn. So that is what I've got, 200 gram balls. Um, and I will give you exact yardage. Usually you're good. These were, um, well, I've got the little labels right in here. Let's pull one out. Let's see if I can show you the label. Come on. The lighting in here is weird, and I have found that if the lighting is weird, my camera won't focus. All right, it's not going to focus. These have 463 yards, so that is probably going to be what you want to get. Because I know some fingering weights only have 400, but this shawl is going to use pretty much all of this. So you're going to want to get two skeins of 463 yards. And look at how pretty this is. Oh my gosh, I love this. I had just switched back to the teal here. Got to get working on it. So I, this is where I last showed you guys. So I have done all this, but I need to get more done. So hopefully the next time I show you this, it will be very close to finished. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Okay, that is all of my projects for this week. I just haven't had the mojo like I told you, but my kids did see me Tunisianing and got a little intrigued and wanted to learn. So we decided the best thing would be to just make a little square simple stitch um dishcloth there it is <laughs> so each of my kids I let them pick out of my little cotton stash which is not that big I need to get some more and they each made one uh first I'll show you from youngest to oldest or who wants to go first we'll go Jace first um my squishy is only five so this is made about 15% by Squishy and the rest by me. <laughs> so he chose a Christmas and we just did little squares, nothing too big again. Uh, so hold it up here. He chose a Christmas color by Peaches and Cream. I actually really love the back of this one better, but yeah, it was just the simple stitch, little cotton pot holder, dishcloth, whatever you want to call it. We have to tuck in our ends still. We haven't done that. So we did that one. That was my squish. And then my princess, she picked, um, I, don't, I don't have the labels here, guys, sorry. And she did this one here. It's a little, she, it's a little, she calls this her candy corn because it's a little triangular shaped. Somehow she kept losing a stitch, but it's okay because it's her first try. I'll hold that up again. It's just the simple stitch. It's nothing fancy, but I do love the colors on this. And then my monkey, or Bruce Wayne, he used one of, I don't have it, I gave them all away, some cotton that I got from Joanne's, it's just like dark brown, it was really hard for him to work with at first because it was dark brown, and it's a little thinner, so his came out a little tinier, he did pretty good, pretty good square, I'll hold it up again, it's hard to see because it's like black brown, but just the simple stitch, nothing fancy, little square, so I'm pretty excited that the kids are learning New techniques they are picking up on Tunisian. And we have a couple of dishcloths, right? We don't care that they're slightly lopsided. We're not that picky of a family. <laughs> so now, let's see. Mail. I haven't gotten any mail. Now, not to say if you've sent me something, I'm not saying I didn't get it. I'm saying I haven't went and gotten the mail. <laughs> the, our mail post office has actually been shut down because of the polar vortex. We live in a very tiny town, okay? They just do things crazy. So I couldn't get down there. It was too cold to get there. I will be going tomorrow to the post office to get stuff. So if you sent me anything before you freak out, wait till the next podcast and see if I show it then. Okay. Um, and that also to be said, if you ordered buttons from me from my last podcast, you guys ordered and right when you ordered the polar, polar <laughs> vortex came through, it got freezing. I couldn't get to the mailbox. It was just ridiculous. So they're all going out. They're in the mail. By the time this video comes up, they're all in the mail. Okay, guys? So, sorry about that. I'm so sorry. Um, so I don't have any mail to show, but I did buy some stuff. So, um, and if you follow my Instagram, uh, which you'll know I've been doing um, these February challenge and for the love of Fiber February challenge, I'm doing a couple of challenges this month. You might have saw this. but And also, if you watch the channel, you've seen this originally. So, 
If you guys remember, I went and did that meetup in um, Charlotte and in East Lansing. And when I was in East Lansing, I bought this skein here, which I'm telling you, the camera is not doing it justice. Okay, that's a little better. It's this gorgeous pinky copper. It's got these dark brown speckles in it. It's just stunning. And it's got halo glitter, which I am just in love with. I got all the way home. And I was like, oh, baby, I love this so much. I'm going to have to, I can't, I can't put this in a project. It has to be a project all by itself. And I just, I love it so much. I'm going to have to make like a one skein shawl, like my spin drift that I love. I'm like, and he said, well, why don't you just get two and make it a bigger shawl? And I was like, oh, yes. So I went to jimmybeans.com because you guys know I love Jimmy Beans. And I found it. They had it. And I surprisingly enough I had a coupon and I didn't even know about it they reminded me of my coupon so I ordered a second skein now funny enough I don't see man yeah it I guess it's lot dye lots let's see if I can find the dye lot on this one okay this is number 530 and this is number 580 so if you guys see this original one let me get the tag out the way this original one here. There we go. See all that speckling of reds and the dark brown speckles? We get this guy up here. Oh, sorry. I'm getting a message from somebody. There aren't any speckles. There's a little bit of brown striping in it. It's okay, though. I don't care. The pinks are... Let's put them together. They still go together very well. They're just slightly different. And I'm okay with that because... I still think it's stunning and I'm going to make something with both of these together. Maybe I'll do like the one that doesn't have any speckling and then kind of fade it down into some speckles or I'll start with speckles and fade down to solid. I don't know, but this is so pretty and it's so, so, so soft. Let's see. It is 90% Merino, 8% acrylic and 2% Stellita and it is so soft. It is Tash Merino um, light. They're hand dyed in the color. Uh, it's Tash Merino light, halo glitter in the color copper pink and I love it. They're a little different when you hold them up. They're just a little, this one's a little darker than what I just got, but I think they'll still go nicely together, especially if I fade them together. I think they'll be stunning. So that's what I've got there. And then my next acquisition has to do with my birthday surprise cow. It's going to be a crochet long. It's going to be a shawl. I'm not going to tell you much more about it, except for I'm going to show you my colors. It's going to be DK weight. I will, um, I literally just got the yarn in, so I have to hurry, make it up to give you guys, ex anyways, it's going to be a mystery crochet along. And the way this will work is the pattern will come out a couple weeks before it's going to start. You can purchase it then. And then all you will get at that point is a list of materials. Then, and this is going to be done on Ravelry because um, Ravelry, when you purchase a pattern and then there's an update for a pattern, it just automatically updates you. So that's why it's going to be done there. So you'll get that. When the pattern starts the first week, you will get an update and that will be the first section of the pattern. The next week, an update. And I think... Mm -hmm. oh, sorry, my phone. <sighs> I think it's going to be three weeks, a three-week mystery make along it might be four we're gonna see but so I went on to um love crochet love knitting they're pretty much the same they just change the title every once in a while but it's the same 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 company <laughs> anyways and I was checking out some yarn because I wanted to get DK weight I really like DK and just so you guys know if um you don't want to order online or whatever uh your like Michaels has their joy DK that's a good brand of DK um, Lion brand mandalas are all DK. Those are, this isn't going to be set up for self striping. There is going to be some striping effects, but it's not set up for self striping. That doesn't mean you couldn't use one. Okay. So I found paint box yarns on there, which I loved. They're acrylic, but they just had all these wonderful colors and they were really cheap. Like the skein was like $2 and 30 cents, but it was on sale for like $2. So I got like a bunch. So I am using four colors. And I'm going to show you. Starting with this dark, beautiful paint box color. Here we go. Let me get it up there. Isn't that pretty? And these are acrylic, but they're so soft. And you know what, guys? I'm sorry. I am literally going to get on their thing right now. Love knitting. Because 
they don't give the names on here. They give the color numbers. This is 143, but when I um when I bought this off the website, it had names. So I am gonna go right now. I'm right on their website. It's really easy to get to. I went just I went on there, I went to yarn, I went by um brand, I'm going to paint box. My phone's running a little slow. I should have been more prepared. But anyways, while I'm waiting for this to load, because for some reason it's going uber slow. I think it's because, let me just fix one thing on my phone real quick. When the weather is bad, my Wi-Fi runs like a turtle. <laughs> so, okay, here it is. Yes, it is the paint box yarns Simply DK. It is 100% acrylic. And you get 3.5 ounces for $2.99, but sometimes they will be on sale. I did get mine for $2 a skein. Now, this color is called Raspberry Pink. Let me get that up there. This one's Raspberry Pink. I am in love with this. Look at the logo for Pink Box Shards. So cute. Why is it just being such a little turd about focusing? Come on, focus on the label. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, so this one's Raspberry. This is the darkest. And then it's going into, I believe this one is just called, yes, of course, neon pink. Look, it goes with my scarf. So it'll go like this. This is cute. So, so cute. And the third color is, I believe, yep, this is what I thought. Bubblegum pink. So it goes, let's see if I can get the paint boxes all going in the same direction. <laughs> paint box, paint box. Turn it around. Paint box. This is bubblegum pink. Okay, so those are our three pinks. And then, you guys, I went a little out of the box for the fourth color, but I think it's going to be stunning. Look how good these go. One, they go grimace. The fourth color is neon yellow. Look at how interesting this is together. It's hard to see, because I can't hold all four of them, but it's also my scarf. Let me get it up. Look at that. Those are the four colors. Kind of plop them. Boom. My four colors I'm going to be using. So if you want to go over to paint, I would wait just a little bit. The one paint box rounds, it shipped within a week. So you have plenty of time. I will release this at least two weeks before we start. That way you will have time to get your yarn out. Um, paint box yarn shipped it. Well, no, paint box. Sorry. Love knitting is where it came from. I went on love crochet, but when you actually purchase, it comes from love knitting. That's like the big company. So I bought it. They came so quick. It came in a giant bag. I purchased two skeins of each. You're not going to need two skeins of each. I purchased them because I just don't know exactly how much yardage I'm going to use everywhere. But I think I'm going to be fine with one of each color at, I mean, they are 302 yards. I think we're going to be just fine with this. But just to be sure I purchased two, I will put all of the information about it, you know, in the next time when we are ready to release it. But... So just to let you guys know, if you're thinking about it and you want to join the, you know, mystery cal, it's going to be DK weight yarn. And Paintbox has a lot of colors. They have 54 colors. I can't hold it next to me because my shawl is taking up the pink. Look at, there we go. 54 colors in DK. And it's, for acrylic, it is so soft. I almost thought that it had like cashmere or something in it it was so soft but it's acrylic 100% acrylic so super excited to try this wonderful paint box yarns in my mystery cal I'm so excited about that because it's my very first one and it's going to be called it's my birthday because it's going to come out for my birthday we will be finished with it the week of my birthday it will be wonderful I'm so excited you guys it's so much fun um, let's see, anything else I got to show? I uh, know, but I do have to talk to you guys a little bit. So I'm not going to go into details because that will be later. But basically there's going to be some changes going on in my life that will only slightly change the channel. Okay, don't worry. Still going to do podcasts, still going to do all the videos I always did. Still going to be good old me. Just the scenery here might change. And no, I'm not getting a craft room. But you will find out what it is later, okay? So I'm super excited about that. I just thought I should let you guys know, don't be stressed if things look a little different in a couple of podcasts out or something. It's probably all going to be the same for a while. If you heard that large beep, <laughs> that was my little squish. He's filming me on his DS. Hi. 
So there's two videos of me going out, one from the front and one from a profile. It's my good side, so it's okay. <laughs> well, I think that's about it. Um, one thing I'm going to say, we're going to go back to the mystery cal here, is when you're picking out your colors, if you choose to do four, don't be afraid to do something like throw in a weird color, like that yellow. Sometimes weird colors just go great together. The other day, I'm going to like kind of turn, sorry guys here. The other day I was digging in this wonderful bin here. Where is it? <laughs> now I can't seem to find it. Oh, there it is. And I was looking at one of my favorite yarns by um, Malabrigo. It is their Frank Ochre. I love this weird, mustery, yellowy, greeny, chartreuse color. I love this thing. And I was looking at it and I was like, oh, I love this. And I have a pattern for this ready. I have, uh, well, not a pattern ready. I'm going to make a pattern. I've got, it's a navy and a one that's speckled with navy and kind of this yellow. So it's going to look gorgeous. So I have plans for this scheme. But my son, my oldest, my monkey, or my Batman, whatever you want to call him, said, Mom, wouldn't it look really cool if you put Frank Ochre with your favorite purple color from Cat Sock Fibers? And I was like, no. But then we put them together. And I was like, you know what? That's actually kind of cool. So look at this. Most people would not go with this color combination. And I'm not saying that you would love this color combination, but sometimes you take two colors that are opposite and you stick them together and sometimes it looks really cool. So um, even though I have plans for this skein and I have plans for this skein, I'm probably going to get another of each and make something out of these. I really, really think these go great together. I might be crazy. I don't care. I think they're amazing and cannot wait to try something with the two of them. So when you're picking your colors, you know, go a little crazy. I mean, go comfortable if you want. Go crazy if you want. Do what makes you happy because it's going to be your shawl. You have to wear it, not what I want, okay? So anyways, I have to get out of here because kids and being a mom, that's what I do. <laughs> so I'm gonna head out of here. I am super excited. Don't forget that the February Valentine's Day giveaway is still going on. Please go check that out if you want your chance to win a bag by Kim from Chasing Acorn, some yarn, and a furls crochet hook. Check that out, you guys. I will talk to you all later. And if I forgot anything, I'm sorry. I forget. Oh, I almost did forget. Next week, so today is Friday. And next week, sometime next week, I will be releasing my new doll pattern. It's a surprise. It's so cute. You're going to love it. So stay tuned for that. Look forward to that video next week. Bye guys.